According to this book, we're almost at an amazing spot for fishing. It's a long way from shore, but we should catch lots of fish here at this spot. Uh, yeah. huh? <gasps> Grandpa, what's that? <gasps> How strange. No fog was forecast for today. I think that the strange thing is that this fog is a bright green. <laughs> what do we do now? All we can do is wait. I'm sure it'll all soon pass. Don't worry. But what if we crash into something? Obeyed. There's nothing to crash into. We're in the middle of the... Ah! Hmm. Uh... Oh. oh, wow! Hold on. This isn't on the map. But don't be gone for too long. I'll get the engine fixed and work out where we are. And then we can get on with our fishing. Uh-huh. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> can stay here. Turkey, are you going to climb? Not only am I going to climb, I'm going to get to the top first. <laughs> you won't be me. That looks no, dangerous. No, 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 no. <sighs> Platform. It's a nest. There's no way. What bird could lay eggs this big? <gasps> uh, I think we're about to find out. Uh, what's with the weight? <laughs> oh, my Eden. Was that your tummy? No. I thought that noise was coming from your tummy. <laughs> believed to have been extinct for millions of years. Dinosaur? Mansoor? What's happening here? I have no idea. Uh, oh no! They're calling for their mom! Uh. Uh. Salem, why did the boulder just move? Uh. 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 Uh.
panic. Don't worry. We're safe here. Huh? 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 Ah! Nano, distract it! Nano! Close. Yeah, way too close. What are we gonna do now? I don't think the ones down there are meat eaters, so don't worry. Hold on. How are you sure that they're not meat eaters? I've got an idea. You go down there, and if they eat you, we'll know to stay up here. Obey, don't worry. Look at what they're eating. Okay, let's get back to the boat and get off this island already. Uh-huh. Come! such thing. Yes, we just... Huh? <laughs> I told you a T-Rex was chasing him! What is happening? Let's go, Grandpa! Yes, good idea. Incredible. Do you know what this means? Mm -hmm. It huh? means that this book is absolute and total rubbish. Mm. Come on, boys. Playtime's over, so let's catch some fish. But from the local market, it's much safer that way. <laughs> <laughs>
Shama and Kalud are baking cakes for my charity sale. What do you say? Maybe you boys could help too. Mm, we would love to, Mom, but uh... We are very uh busy with uh, uh things. Yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're very busy with uh, lots of things. Uh, are we? I was pretty happy watching TV. Yes. What kind of things, Salem? Uh, things. Yeah, like? Very important. Secret things. Very important secret things, you say? Hmm, really? Mansoor, you know very well you shouldn't have secrets kept from your mother. Well, maybe I can help. How about if the best cake wins a small cash prize, huh? Would that make these very important secret things you have to do seem less important? Oh, yeah! Hmm, okay then. I need three cakes to be baked. So you guys can split into teams. Kalud and Shama, could you make a honey uh -huh. and date cake? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> turkey and salem. You can make a chocolate cake. <laughs> and Mansoor and Obeyed, you can make a Victoria sponge. Yeah! <laughs> Baking is very scientific. It's just a process where one transforms the properties of the ingredients by mixing, by the introduction of catalysts, and the application of heat. No! Baking is about making things with love taste super delicious and yummy. Yes, Obeyed, but it's the science that makes it taste delicious. No, no, Mansur. It's actually the icing that makes it taste delicious. Hmm, I think we have everything we need. We do. This cake shouldn't take too long to make, hopefully. We're going to win this easily. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, geez, mm. I don't know what half these things are. Salem, stop eating everything. Why? Because we need them. There's more than enough. <gasps> Fascinating. It says a sponge cake requires the perfect balance of structure building from the flour uh, and the eggs combined uh, with the structure weakening from the fat and sugar. There's gonna be a structure inside the cake? Walls in the cake? I don't think that would taste very good. Um, mm, try adding a little more, I think. Yes, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the chocolate? Uh, did we need it? Of course we need chocolate. It's for a chocolate cake. Don't tell me. Did you eat it? Just a little. Oh, great. Now I need to go to the store and buy more thanks to you. <laughs> Feeding the butter and the sugar together adds tiny bubbles to the mixture, which divide the mixture into sheets, which gives a cake that melts in the mouth texture. Don't stop then. I love that kind of texture. Mm -hmm. That's a winning cake if I ever saw one. I was never in doubt. No. Ah. Mm. Ah. Ow. Mm. Ow. Ow. The egg protein coats each of the gas bubbles, protecting it from collapsing when heated. Wow, so the eggs know to protect each other from all the gas bubbles? Are they some kind of special eggs? Or are they superhero eggs? Oh, and if they really are superheroes, mm, do they have little capes? Do they have superpowers? Do they fight crime? Ah! <laughs> 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 Ah! Hey, Salem, I'm back. I've got the chocolate and uh, where's our mixture? In the bowl? No, no, I mean the rest of it. Uh. 
Did you eat it? Uh, Salem! I was hungry, and I wanted to make sure the cake was yummy. <laughs> you shouldn't eat uncooked cake mix. You'll get sick, don't you know? It's bad for you. Uh, I do feel a bit queasy. Well, that's great. Then you can just get out of the way and leave me alone. It'll be easier to bake this cake without you eating everything. If it's any help, I can tell you it's yummy. But if it's anything like you, it's of no help at all. I'm sick of the stupid baking and being bossed around. I wish they would go away. Uh, hello? Mansoor? Obeyed? Turkey? Come out! This isn't funny! Where are you? Mansoor! Obeyed! Turkey? Where are they? Shama? Kalud? There's no one anywhere. They disappeared. Is anyone there? Uh, is anyone there? Anyone? Anyone? Where is everyone? Where's everyone? Are they gone? Well, at least it's nice and peaceful. No one to boss me around. Ah! 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 the small cash prize. Turkey, what's going on? You look like some kind of cake monster. <laughs> Mansoor!
Okay now, class. It's time for you to take a test. <laughs> but don't you worry. It's going to be a fun test. In fact, it's going to be more like a quiz show. Hmm. Okay, I need two contestants. Oh. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. I'll pick Solemn and Turk. Come up. I'll ask three questions you must answer. This week's subject is the Great Leopard. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. All right, then. Here we go. The first question is, when leopards go hunting, do they hunt in packs? Yes. N no. Leopards are very solitary animals. That answer is correct, Solemn. Next question. Are leopards good climbers? No. N yes. Leopards are very good when it comes to climbing. The answer is correct, Solemn. Now, the next question is, do leopards hunt by day? Yes. No. Leopards prefer to hunt by night. Correct. And the winner of our game show is Solemn. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Done, Salem. You know a whole lot about leopards, don't you? Uh, yeah, but I'm terrified of them. They've got such big teeth and very sharp claws. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I know just what Salem needs. I think it's time for Salem to meet a leopard. <laughs> huh? Go put this leopard costume on. <laughs> Jamil, are you ready yet? Ready! Brilliant! Let's go and scare Salem. <laughs> mm. Hey, it's getting dark. Let's start heading home. Salem, are you okay? Leopard! Huh? Uh, what? A leopard? Huh? I saw a leopard. Hey, leopard? It was right uh, there. I have a feeling it's just the light playing tricks on your eyes, Salem. <laughs> Come on, let's go scare him before they get home. I know a shortcut. <laughs> Uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Let's go after Solemn to give him yet another major heart attack. <laughs> Look here! This is a real leopard! The picture's very blurry, Solemn. It could be anything. I'm not going out at night until that thing is caught. Come on, let's give him one more scare. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it really is, you're safe here, Salem. I can promise you that. Well, I suppose. Ah! <laughs> huh? That's no leopard. It's a leopard, all right. Well, I'm not so sure, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, we're going to solve this mystery. Oh! Uh, yeah, how are we going to solve this? I've got a great plan. Hello, 
there, Salem. Everything okay? Uh, yeah. Actually, you look a bit more nervous to me. Mm, no. That's good. Oh, what's that uh, in the bushes? Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, it's nothing. <laughs> Have a good evening. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what was that about? Hmm, that pretty much confirms it. I heard you saw some kind of big cat. Uh, I'm gonna hunt it and capture it. I hear you losers are scared of it, so I advise you babies to stay at home. Hmm. Uh, uh, I need to get inside. This should help. These are motion-activated night vision cameras. We'll get all the footage we need, then we'll know exactly what's going on. The camera is ready. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hurry up, Jamil. I want to go scare that thumb-sucking baby. Something's activated the camera. The leopard? I don't think so. Uh. <gasps> what are they doing there? Just wait and see. Uh. No! There's your leopard, Salem. Uh, those jerks! Unbelievable! Huh? Where exactly did you see the leopard? Huh? <laughs> Said, the leopard isn't real. It's just a boy dressed up as a leopard. <laughs> you cowards can't turn me away that easily. Just tell me where you saw it, you big losers. But wait, Said. We'll show you. Wow, Salem. I didn't expect this from you. Just follow us, okay? <laughs> hmm, come on. Looks like they're heading towards the park. We saw the leopard over there. Uh, wait here, so you don't get hurt. I like to go hunting <sighs> alone. Said, listen, it's not a real lep. Look, just back off, losers. The glory is going to be all mine. If he's as good at hunting as he says he is, this is gonna be very funny. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Destruction of property, you lot will be coming with me. You're a big one, aren't you? Yeah. It looks different than the other one we caught. Well, this one's just been overfed, that's all. Put it in the van with the skinny one. Uh, don't you worry. You can hang out with a friend.
awesome! These panther drones are the coolest thing ever. And look how fast they can fly. Those drones are amazing, but uh, Nano is going to be just as fast with his new upgrade. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. All right, let's check it out. First, let's find out how fast those huh. drones fly. The website says it can reach up to 60 miles per hour. Okay, now let's see if Nano can beat that speed. Okay, Nano. Ready, set, huh? Huh? What was that? Huh? 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 It's a panther drone. <laughs> Actually, this one is your panther drone. Hello there, Mansoor. Well, I got you this limited edition model on my huh? trip. Thank you, father. Have lots of fun. This is Obeyed, this is Salem, and this is Nano. Greetings, Obeyed. Salem and Nano. Now we can find out if Nano is faster than a panther drone. Okay, why not? You can both race to the park and back. I am looking forward to the race. I am as well. Ready? Get set and go! How about we race around that tree and then head back? All right, good idea. You're very fast. So are you, especially for a piece of junk. <laughs> Here they come! It's close! The panther drone is faster! Oh, I knew it! Huh? It uh, looks like you used up all your battery in that race, Nano. There is something very wrong with the Panther Drone. It cheated. Come on, don't be a sore loser, Nano. It's faulty. Uh, Something's wrong. It pushed me into the tree. Uh, it must have just been an accident, Nano. Go and recharge for a while. I'll see you later. I really enjoyed our race, Nano. <laughs> I can't believe Nano accused the panther drone of cheating. Hmm, I know. It isn't like Nano at all. So what should we do now? <gasps> Can you show me around your wonderful city today? We'd better wait for Nano to recharge. But that will take time. And there's a lot for me to see around the city. <laughs> Let's go for a stroll. Hmm, okay. <laughs> So this is the port, and that is the ocean. I like huh? it. What's it doing? <laughs> Why did you do that? What's going on? No idea. Let's follow him quickly. Lie down for a while. Stop interfering with my fun! Ah, a breaking news story about panther drones. Breaking uh. news, panther drones go on a rampage. It says the manufacturer recalls all panther drones immediately. So it is faulty. We need to shut it down. But how? Hmm, I got it. There's only one person who can help us now. Who? The one who knew the truth about the panther drone since the beginning, but we didn't believe him. Nano, can you hear me? I can. Hi, Mansoor. You were right, Nano. The panther drone is evil. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Not a problem, Mansoor. Are you fully charged yet? I am at 92%. That's enough. We need you to shut down the panther drone. I'll do that. On it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Just in case. No! Oh. <laughs> oh. I also have the power of the sun now. Now it's time to finish you off. <laughs> What's happening? No! What just happened? It's the chip. Nano's upgraded microchip filled his system with solar power, but the other chip did the exact opposite and drained the panther drone of his power. Oh, that was so clever of you. Thank you so much, Nano. Thank you for saving the day. You are the greatest robot I could ask for. And I thank you, Mansoor, for the wonderful solar power upgrade. You're the greatest human ever. <laughs> <laughs>
We're all spending too much time on these and missing a lot of beautiful moments. Here's what I suggest. We need to use them a little less and spend a lot more time in nature together. So we've booked a holiday to the Australian uh -huh. Outback. Care uh -huh. to join us, Obeyed and Solemn? Awesome! We all get to go to Australia? Yes, please! Thank you! When do we go? Next week, guys. When NASA goes on his college trip to London, it'll do all of us a lot of good. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> ah. Everyone, this is my good friend, Ranger Joe. Very Hello, nice Ranger to meet Joe. you. Nice We're to meet looking you. Looking forward to this. It's my pleasure. Good to have you. Welcome to Australia. I hope you will love it, because this is where you're going, the Dunga Dunga <gasps> Resort. <gasps> it's a five-star beauty. Believe me, you, it's great. You're going to love it. Does it have Wi-Fi? Does it have a nice restaurant? Of course it does. It has them all. Hey! Uh, but your dad thinks you three need a bit of rest from all of that. Your parents are going in that. And you three boys will be coming with me on those. Say what? I don't understand you. He means we're walking. We'll be walking. We gotta How long walk. will it take us to get where we're going? Um, uh, two hours. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. How long on foot? Uh, um, well, about three days. What? Wait, three Whoa. days? Uh, three days? Yes, if you walk fast. This will be a fantastic experience for you. And I assure you that you're in good hands. Ranger Joe knows the outback. Mm. Have a nice walk out there, guys. I'll be in the pool waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, boys. This is going to be an incredible experience. If incredibly awful is what you mean. Live in the moment and get into the rhythm and feel at one with nature. Look at those beautiful surroundings, boys. So what, boys? Feeling the heat? The heat's very hot. Oh, how about a nice, refreshing swim to cool off? Guys, is he teasing us? Of course not, Obeyed. Here, look. Whoa! <laughs> Jump in, fellas. It's actually great for swimming, you know. Crocodiles? I'm sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. Crocodiles do not live in this lake, so you are quite safe. Aw, no reception. The bed isn't very comfy. I'm so hungry, you guys. Let's go. Keep up now. Please tell us another story, Ranger Joe. Okay, guys. I've got a story for you. One day there was a boy sitting by a fire in the outback. But he didn't realize there was a great big centipede walking up on a rock behind him, you know? <laughs> the giant centipede kept crawling and crawling and got nearer and nearer. But the boy mm. just sat there and grinned. Huh? His friends pointed huh? to warn him, but he thought they were just messing around. Hey, hey, hey. 
Huh. Very good acting, but you're not fooling me. Unbeknownst to them, the centipede crawled up the rock, was almost on his head when the brave ranger leaned forward and snatched it up. Ah! Ah, that almost crawled <laughs> on my head! What, what a, a great, great realistic, realistic story that was! All right now, bedtime, my adventurers. We'll go from here and follow the river here, then we'll take this fork. And by the afternoon, we should arrive at the resort where your Wi-Fi, soft beds, and fancy restaurants will be waiting for you. You two take this one, and we'll take this one. Got it now? It's pretty easy, and we'll get some great views. But listen up, when we get there, make sure you stay on the right-hand side. Do not take the left fork. Do you understand now? Why not? Wild Nelly. Who's Wild Nelly? It's a big and mean waterfall. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get going. some rope and pull them in. years of doing this, no one has ever actually gone down the left fork. You two deserve a medal. Ah, did you hear that, Solid? Hear that? We're gonna get a medal. <laughs> <laughs> what? So are we getting a medal or not? <laughs> well, boys, you're here. Finally, you got your Wi-Fi and your comfy beds and that fancy food awaits you. I think we might just stay out here a little while longer. Wi-Fi can totally wait. Yeah, who really needs comfy beds? That's right, and they probably don't even serve prickly pears. Thank you for an amazing experience, Ranger Joe. <laughs> You're very welcome, Ranger Mansoor.
totally love this game. I could play it for hours and not get bored of it. Yeah, the graphics are amazing, aren't they? Sure are. Man, this is awesome. You guys sure do like this game. Unbelievable. I mean, it's not like it's real life either. You haven't even gotten off the couch. Do you want to go on a real adventure now? I'm flying out to Jordan, so I'll take you with me. You can go on a real adventure in real life. Hmm. Hold on. Will there possibly be aliens to encounter? <laughs> no, sir, Obeyed. There won't be any aliens, but there will be a lot of fun activities there. Does that sound good? All right. Wadi Rum, here we come. Good afternoon. This is Mohammed, our guide. They're in your hands. Hey! I couldn't hear you. What do you say, guys? Are you ready for an adventure? Yeah! yeah! Then follow me. Your transport awaits. Yeah! <laughs> Those aren't your transport. Those are. Oh. <laughs> Come on, come on. Everyone pick a camel. <laughs> I see you've met Saber. Yes, and I don't think he likes me. What? Nonsense. You two will be best of friends in no time. I know it. Okay, everyone get on. Good boy. You're a good boy. Easy, easy now, okay? Okay. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've seen! <laughs> I see what you mean. It is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look it! Look at my camel's funny ears! You guys see them? Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Everybody? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, look there. Oh, wow. Hello. This is a good place for a picture. Got my trusty cell phone. Oh. Oh. Nice of everyone <laughs> to wait for us. They're just around the corner over there. <laughs> <laughs> How unbelievable! This view is incredible! Miss Thor! Huh? Tell him! Obey! I'm down here! Hear that? I thought I just heard Turkey calling out! Mm -mm. Must be the wind. The wind doesn't know our names, though! Maybe the heat is getting to you, Obeyed. Drink some water! Miss Thor! Huh? Tell him! Obey! Huh? Help me! Oh, where's it coming from? Uh. Um. I don't know. Let's get your dad and Mohammed over here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. <laughs> Solon! Mansoor! Huh? Solon just huh? fell in there! Uh, what happened? Well, he fell down this hole here. Salem! Turkey! Can anybody hear me? Hey, Mansoor! <gasps> Salem! Turkey! Where are you? We're stuck down here! Can't you guys see? Hold on! Just hold on! We'll throw down some rope! Don't be scared! Here! Look up! We can't reach it! It's too short! Uh, um... Obey! Tie this end around that rock! I'm gonna climb down and see if they throw their rope up, we can join them together. <laughs> we 
wish me all kinds of luck, my friend. Good luck. Mm. Ah! Ah! Mansoor, right here. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. So what's the plan, huh? Tie your ropes together and throw one end up to me. Mm-hmm. And now we can all climb out! or paths around here? There huh? aren't. We've checked. Huh. It's one big dead end. There's no way out of here. Whoa. Wow. This looks like a really cool level. Like in one of our video games. Stop talking about stupid video games, Obeid. Actually, I think he's on to something. Obeid, if this was your favorite video game, what would you do now? Mm, okay, well, if I couldn't go that way for some reason, then I'd go this way and find an alternate escape route. Well, let's go. Lead the way, Obeyed. We're in your hands. <laughs> Mansoor, do you really think this is a good idea? Well, it's better than just standing around. Who knows what he'll stumble into? Okay, let's go. Ooh. Hey, wait! <laughs> huh? 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 Oh. from here. Hey! Huh? You okay? I'm so relieved you're safe. You had me really worried. So tell me, how did you find your way out? Well, it was actually Obeyed who led us to safety because he made excellent use of his video game knowledge. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> 